Exposing the truth behind the lies and fighting for the freedom of awareness. You're in the hub. Lights out at 9.30. After that, no laughing, no singing. No flashlights, no ghost stories. No nothing except sleep. Also, you have to sign this. It says that we are not responsible for any injury that might occur during sleepover. Uh, Susan Clemens, is it? You forgot to initial here. Okay, enjoy sleepover. Okay, um... The harsh truth comes to uh, comes to us today from a Wall Street Journal article written later by Chinese mom, which says that American children are not ignorant wusses because everybody gets a trophy, and if your kid gets hit by a dodgeball, it risks his dad it risks dad bringing a class action lawsuit. It really has more to do with the fact that our American children are inevitably born and raised by American parents. If we would just simply ship our kids off, uh, put our kids up for adoption, the moment they're born to, I don't know, a mother from perhaps the land of the rising sun or the land of dragons, they would rise to become, rise to greatness because they would understand the principles that Chinese mothers understand that us, uh, the coddly American mothers just can't get. And, and those principles are the principle of, I don't, basically, don't make me come up there. Uh, our American parents say that, and, and growing up as children, we see it as an idle threat. The Chinese mom will come up there, usually with a switch as big as you are, or, or perhaps, um, uh, perhaps a sword. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, the bottom line is there's a lot more disciplinary action and, uh, in, in, in the culture there, and um, – <clears throat> It's kind of an amazing. It's kind of amazing because of uh, you know because of this. The, the article in Wall Street Journal just earlier today uh, goes into this Chinese mother basically going through the differences between Chinese moms mm-hmm. versus American moms. Uh, she said the Chinese parents assume strength, not fragility, in their kids. American parents assume their kids are fragile, and if they don't award them, encourage them, go easy on them, they will break. Nick. I mean, not a parent yet, but um, uh, do you see that in American parenting, or is that uh, do you take issue with that? Well, I mean, there's certainly there's certainly differences in how parents raise their kids, and I think that's all around. That's American. That's not American. What you know, whatever the case may be, uh, being not a parent, I'm starting to devise, and being I guess closer to parenthood now, starting to devise those things of what I want to instill in my kids. How do I want to raise them? Uh, I see some of the generation today, and it doesn't give me great hope. And I think it's going to put that much more emphasis on myself to say, you know what, it's time to do something different. Yeah. I mean, do you really believe, Rich, that Chinese parents, uh, Chinese children have more raw intelligence or they just live under petty dictators? They call mothers, but they don't know what to call them, so they just assume this is the way it's supposed to be. Well, I think in America, um, our most successful children have good work ethic. And I think we reward that good work ethic by allowing them to go to the movies or go to the mall or, or, or do whatever. Uh, apparently in China, that work ethic, there is no reward until way down the road. I mean, it's yeah. work, 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 work. And as a result, Chinese children's performance is far and above that of American kids. Uh, it's not that they have anything more than we have. I think they just choose to exercise it with more intensity and more repetition than we as American kids. Well, yeah, and it's really you become. I guess it's, are you saying it's you become good at what you concentrate on? Because if you think about it, uh, we focus on. I mean, it, it's is it really unbelievable that they do very well in math and a lot of uh, engineering type functions? Because when, when you're given a cal- only given a calculator to read and a piano to watch mm-hmm. growing up, that uh, piano keys that changes the way you are and the way you develop. I think, I mean, we, we, we kick their arses uh, anytime they step on a professional football field <laughs> or anytime they step on a basketball court. Why? Because at, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, they study that kind of stuff, and we Neanderthals play drinking games and, <laughs> and lift heavy stuff <laughs> and, uh, and idolize it. So, I mean, is it, is it predictable? No, I, I mean, yeah. I, think it's, I think it's a great example. I think uh, uh, Western parents will focus more on a, work, uh, on a work-play balance, whereas I think 
typical Eastern parents will focus more on the work side. And so mm-hmm. I still don't think that, uh, you know, work ethic does play a, a big, uh, a vital key in that. But in terms of time management, you can get that from a work play life as well. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. do we have a bunch of parents that are focused on their kid's sports life that are trying to make them a professional athlete? Is that their bankroll for their retirement these days? Yeah, you certainly see a lot of that. Um, the question is, are the parents pushing it? Sports, piano, violin, whatever the case may be. Are the parents pushing it on the kid because the kid really wants to do it or vice versa? Yeah. Well, and you've got to wonder, I mean, is it that Chinese parents assume the worst about their kids uh, in every situation? They assume that they won't do so, they won't be good at something until they're forced to do it. And they'll never uh, they'll never do something unless they're forced to do it. Uh, so in other uh, words, that, yeah, you know, I, I forgot what golfer said this, but I think the Chinese people have embraced uh, the concept of, you know, it's not practice that makes perfect. Mm-hmm. It's perfect practice that makes perfect. Yeah. And so to do that, it takes an enormous amount of time and preparation and continual, you know, development. And that's what they do. Yeah. So they're not going to be any more successful than they are in anything unless they get it right. They focus on getting it right all the time, every time. Mm-hmm. And I think in America, we kind of like, okay, it's the pursuit of getting it right that makes it fun and challenging. But getting it right for the sake of getting it right, I think there's just a paradigm. So it's not a focus on results as much. It's a focus on process more. Exactly. And, and I think our range is probably great, uh, of greater acceptance. Uh, you know, In my case, if you got an A, then that was good. Mm. Uh, in Chinese cases, if you get an A-, minus. You have room for reform. Yeah, why didn't you get an A plus? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's pretty harsh. Some of the statements they make in the Wall Street Journal article. She says that uh, at, at some point she she. You, it's not unusual to hear a Chinese mother say, "Hey, fatty, lose some weight." <laughs> You're never going to hear that in American culture. Your kid would be crushed and live under their bed for a week and a half. Plus, we don't have to do that because we have people like Jillian Michaels to do that for us to scream the same kind of things. And 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 ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, we believe in a thing called delegation. See. We don't have to take it on all ourselves. We give it. Uh, we 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 delegate it out to experts to do those things to our children. And well, also, I mean, and going back to what you truth. said, and going back to what you said, culturally, you let a parent call a kid lazy, or you know, you're fat. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're going to put family services on you so fast mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that you won't get to be a parent much longer because you're going to be explaining something to the judge. Culturally, they are allowed to put a lot more pressure on their children than we ever could possibly imagine in America. Yeah. In America, we believe in giving the kids the opportunity to develop for themselves. There, they take a more hands-on approach and make sure the kids are what they want them to be. End of story. Another difference between American and Chinese parents. Chinese parents mm-hmm. believe their kids owe them everything. Tell American me. kids believe their parents owe them everything. Uh, not to mention the credit card, uh, to at, at a minimum the credit card uh, that uh, you can take to the mall, and it's backed up by Daddy's Visa credit card for overdraft protection. And a car at 16. And a car at 16. So, Why? Because you're breathing, and you made it this far. Exactly. Morning. And you know what? I, I mean, I give my parents all the credit in the world for the way that I was brought up and what I respect, how I respect it. Um, and, you know, Lord forbid, when they need help, I'm going to be there for them. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, I think they kind of take it over and beyond. Yeah, um, you know, it, you know, we we're talking about responsibility, and uh, I think American parents are putting too much responsibility in the hands of the school systems that are financially strapped these days. And so, is it the school's responsibility to teach your kid, or is it the parents' responsibility to have the school introduce the idea and the parents to reinforce it? And it really is it really more about our kid? Does it say more about the children, or does it say more about the parents? That, that, that we have a – is it really parents that you're trying to protect your children, or is it that you're trying to protect yourself from your children, from the negative feelings you might get uh, from your children not measuring up the standards everybody would expect? Uh, or against your friend's children. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, yeah, exactly. The comparison – Type of thing that goes on. Uh, yeah, everybody's seen it it's Saturday night at the baseball game. Exactly. Yeah. But Kids competition, baseball game. competition is good. I mean, everybody mm-hmm. wants their kid to come in first place. Now mm-hmm. we all know that nobody can, but I mean, that's that's the good old American way. You want the best for your kids, and you want them to excel. If they don't, I think we don't chastise them. We don't punish them. We just kind of go back in. We pat them on the back, give them a little bit more encouragement, and say, yeah. "Hey, step it up next time." And Apparently, from this article, that's not what happens in yeah. 
in China. Fi- final one. Chinese parents believe they override everything their kids want. And uh, everything mm-hmm. their kids want. After a while, that becomes a beautiful thing because the kids uh, no longer even want it. They just want to become petty dictators themselves as quickly as possible so they can get their own little fiefdom. <laughs> what do you think? No, I, I mean, I think that's a great point. Uh, I think uh, Chinese parents typically dictate what their kids are going to do, whereas Western parents give their kids more choice and yeah. discretion as to what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, granted, I think there needs to be some more direction as to what they want to do. Not everybody could be a movie star. Not everybody could play basketball. Yeah. Uh, so realistically, uh, what are you going to do? How are you going to help direct your kid but still give them the freedom of choice? Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I don't relate to any of this. I don't know how I grew up to be a free market person because I, my father uh, was uh, you know, he, completely illogical. Do it because I said do it. There was never any debate. There was never any – but why? It was just because I said so, because I'm your father, and it's my job to make your life live in hell. I got my ass whooped. Yeah, well, you, you, you and me both with a blue stick until we found the oven. We'll see you tomorrow <laughs> on The Hub. Okay, party people in the house.